Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Quantum Beast. It's me, Farhama Washir, and today we're back with another tutorial on Python. And today our tutorial is about try and accept method. So without wasting any time, let's get into this tutorial real soon. So, what is the try and accept method? The try and accept method is about catching errors in Python. So basically, it's more like a Python interpreter or you can say a compiler in a programming language but the one and only difference in the try and accept method is actually let's for example say if you type in a code and that code has any error to it or it's wrong of course in the end we're gonna get a error message in the console or, in the, uh, or the compiler will give us an error message right what ha and eventually what happens is for a wrong code our system breaks and which is not actually a good thing and you know if a, if a program breaks every single time we actually write in a code um, it's not actually what as a developer or as a programmer or a coder you would want right so uh, the try and exit method is actually a very useful way for us to type in our code and without typing in our code without breaking our program let me give you an example to make you guys clear out about this let's say over here I have a variable by the by the name of name and then I have the function of int and then input enter a number so basically we're just gonna get the user to give us an input of the number right so of a not like just give us a number type in a number and then that's gonna get print out right so let's say I'm just gonna make this yeah now let's run this thing now let's say we have enter a number over here right so let me just enter a number um, I think this needs to be a little bit modification over here print name yeah now let's run it once again and let's say it's great right it's getting printed out but let's say instead of typing out a number what if we type out some words or alphabets what if we type in anything any words so what do we get over here is value error invalid literal for int with base 10 all right so we are getting a value error in our python code all right so our program has broken down at this moment and we need to fix this simple thing so how are we going to do that so the thing that we need to you know fix our program and so that it doesn't break it instead is gonna just you know give us a message without breaking that all right this is your mistake now fix this so how do we do that simple thing I'm gonna show you this in three steps all right so what what I mean by three steps is that we can do this thing into three possible ways like you know the try and exit method has three possible coding one is the simple level of coding and then there is the intermediate coding level and then there is the advanced level don't take it like you're a beginner person and that's why you shouldn't go into the intermediate part and the advanced part it's more like you know there are more ways to use this try and accept method so I'm just gonna show you those three ways so let's get started so over here we have a code right so let me just first of all show you the simple method of how to use the try and accept code alright so I'm gonna write it type in try and then I'm gonna give a colon and over here you after I have entered after I've clicked on enter it's gonna actually go to the second line let me just remodify it you see this is thing that actually gonna happen all right so now if you see after typing in try we're gonna get this 
we're gonna just have to type in our code all right so if you click on over here and then you can you know you can write in more code over here but let's just say this is our code over here and what if we have a mistake in our code or not so keeping it apart let's say now you have to type in the accept function accept print let's say invalid input all right so let's just get into it this code what happens let's say I just wrote in 9 I'm getting 9 all right I'm gonna explain what is happening in this code just see what is happening I've, I just wrote a number and it's right it's getting it's getting tapped in let's get started with this again and now let me just type in some syntaxes or any nothing or any words all right so what do we get an invalid input so instead of our programming getting broken down because of a wrong code our system gives out an exception which is invalid input like we give it the uh, give it the order to type in invalid input if it gets a mistake in our program all right so basically try and accept method helps you to run your code without breaking your program and it's a very very useful method that most of the time programmers use to you know to do problem solving because you know when your program breaks every single time it's actually not very much of a good thing for your program so program or system so we use this trianx method to without breaking so that it helps us without breaking our program to find out the error in simple words so you just saw the simple way of using the try and accept method and this is the simple method now let's go on with the intermediate method which is actually a second step into our coding of using the try and accept method so let's say i have um a variable known as hereby just a name all right now let's say we are gonna type in something which is right let's some type in something which is right let's say we typed in mommy <laughs> we just typed in mommy let's say that all right now instead of our instead of over here putting out print what we're gonna do is let's say our hereby is a let's say uh watch out just let me just say that our hereby over here is a very good code right there is no mistake in this code because if you're a programmer you know that there is no mistake in creating this variable right so let's say we tapped in over here um let's say what can it be um let's say name error all right this is the error of the this is the error that is gonna occur if you gave the variable a wrong data all right for you to be cleared out about this i'm just gonna show it once again just look if we typed in here by all right if we type in here by and then we type in something like mommy all right you can see we have a red dot over here and just let's just run this program you will see over here trace back most recent call last is line one code in your module here by goes to mommy name error name mommy is not defined so this is your error this is the name of your error for example in your computer there are different kind of errors so like error 4x or 4y anything like that error work if it occurs in a computer they give out a notification 
this is also like that so the name of this error is name error so you can search up into like when you get an error on your computer you search on the internet by typing in that name right so it's more like that your program has an error and it, it this error has a name so you're just gonna use that error all right so how are you gonna use this error is over here let me show you let's just type in that code once again try and let's say hey and uh, hey let's say mommy all right and then let's type in some other codes like print um, this is the best function let's just say anything that we can find out to just explain anything all right so then let's move on and type in accept and use remember what we saw this is the name error right so we want our pro like by using this intermediate code that I'm gonna show you the second step we're gonna actually tell our program to you know search out these errors in our program so that if they search out this error in our program let's say yeah so you know my program is gonna like I have specified my program that all right you're gonna try out like you're gonna try out this code all right and from this code just you're gonna find out the name error error all right just find out the error that is that is named name error so I'm just gonna give a colon and to finish off this um, code let's say what if my Python program finds out the name error error so what is it gonna tell us so basically we're just gonna give it an input that if it finds this error just say um, let let's say the input or um, let's just say um, your variable is wrong this let's just give it so basically if I repeat we're gonna use this try method and our program is gonna try out this code without breaking our program is gonna try out this code and if it finds a mistake in our code how is gonna find it is by is gonna then round the like is gonna find a mistake like over here we know that hey equals to mommy is a mistake in our source code and then it's gonna run through this code of accept and it's gonna see that all right the programmer or the coder has told us that we need to find out the name error from this program from the source code that he has provided us and the the accept code is gonna make the Python program to go through our code and search out the name error if it doesn't find any name error that's great your program is gonna print out in a way that it has been typed out but if it finds an error then it's gonna give you this input without breaking a program that your variable is wrong so let's try it out so you see the first line you get is your variable is wrong because look when you create a Python program if your first line is wrong then the next codings in the next lines will actually not be of any use because your first line is wrong so how do you even expect that the next lines are gonna be right all right so basically if your one line or your one line is wrong one line of code is wrong then the whole program is co corrupted out right it's that it's broken so yeah so it's gonna show you the first error in your program just like the compiler shows but this time it's, it's not just going to break our program because you know breaking programs out is really frustrating and it's not good for your system as well so this is the mistake we found and then let's say we just gave it a string which is the right code and basically just say print hey right mommy this is the best function it's printed out right let's say um, 
we have a mistake over here all right uh, or let's just do one thing which is that let's just copy out our last code that we had the like the, the last example that we had which was of name equals to int input and then let's say enter a number all right and then this does put in over here um, name all right then let's just put in over here name all right then let's um, move on so it says enter a number so no I'm sorry my our code is not done let's say accept and over here the error that is gonna occur over in this program that if the program was wrong basically the error that is gonna occur is called value error all right value error it's because you know the value that we're gonna input inside our enter a number is actually gonna be wrong so it's a value error that we have given because the program is wanting us to do one thing but we're giving it the another thing then just click on print and just um, type in what in what is the message that you're gonna give yourself if you find an error so let's say you tapped let's say you tapped in the wrong input all right let's just say and let's just again run our code all right let's just again run our code and let's say I tapped in seven it's gonna print out seven what if all right what if I tapped in something like this you tapped in the wrong input so basically you have to understand until now is that when you are using a try or accept method you should always all right always know that what error can come out from your source code if you're typing in the wrong code all right so over here i know that if i make a mistake in this code i'll get a value error and if i get a mistake in this code i'll get a name error all right so you need to understand this specific error names before you go on try out the try and exit method nonetheless you can if you don't know the names of the uh, particular errors then you can just try out this simple code that i just sh showed you before all right so now let's move on to a little more advanced coding of try or accept method so over here let's type in one more code and which is print let's say a print 10 divided by 0 so we all know that no num 0 can no number can be divided by 0 and, in, and we're gonna get an error all right so eventually if you run this code like let me just give it a number you see I just got look I didn't put any except function for this line of code that's why I got an error which means which says a zero division error which means I have divided it by zero all right and it's in line six so let's say we also put in um, except um, let's say what is the code name zero division error all right let me just copy it out CDL to C and just give a colon uh, my bad just give a colon and just type in print and just give in say you divided with zero enter a number you divided with zero we just got the code error code right now let's move on with like this is not the advanced level code but now what is the advanced level code is let's say accept name error let's type in s e r r all right so basically we are not gonna input any print function over here 
like what I'm trying to say is that we're gonna print a print function but we're not gonna give it any specific input that not a specific message is gonna give us instead it's gonna give us the message that it actually gives us when we are typing in uh, like for example if you do a mistake and you're not using the trinex method your program will give your python program will give you a message right so at, if we want our python program to give us the exact message that it's going to give us if our program is broken then we can use this method because sometimes we might not know the right thing to do so our python program is helping us to figure out that code so basically what we're going to do is after writing on accept and typing out the specific error that we want to come out with and like we want to figure out in our program if there is any name error or not and then typing out as error and remember err is a variable all right i can create a different variable over here let's say as e r o r all right and then i can also give a different variable over here as v r all right different variables and just we're just gonna give out e r r and then we're just gonna just again just you know get this out and we're gonna type in e r o r then we're just gonna get this out and we're just gonna give out vr all right and now let's see what happens mommy is okay zero division by zero because look when we went through this code you remember we saw that we got the message of zero division error colon division by zero remember we got that so our python program just gave out the um, masses that your program has been divided by zero which is wrong and let's say we do a mistake over here all right now let's see what happens name mommy is not defined remember we saw value error sorry name error equals to name mom name name mommy is not defined remember so our program is just giving out the specifics that is going to do that given us if we didn't use in try or accept method so this is our try and accept method tutorial guys i hope you liked our video if you if it works for you i obviously it's gonna work but if it actually works for you guys if you liked it and if it was helpful do subscribe to us like our channel like the video share this video with your family and friends also don't forget to follow the ngo in the description box below it's not my personal ngo but supporting a particular ngo into growing to help people is really good so i tell you guys go down and check out our ngo also there are going to be more python tutorials that we have posted on our youtube channel in the description box below don't forget to check them out and i assure you that you're gonna love them that's all from me. See you next time.